Hello friends, this is tutorial number 16 in this Scala programming language tutorials. We talked about loops in previous tutorial and in this tutorial we will practice a little. Uh, we will create a cache machine application that we a uh, well-known application that we already know for uh, from other languages and of course we will create it in Scala and uh, let's start we will practice uh, loops a little first we will need a variable input will be equals to new scanner system dot in and let's import scanner from java library we will uh, we will wor work with uh, bank notes it will be no bank notes of euro and uh, let's create variables variable it will be payment of 500 will be initialized with uh, zero it will be for banknotes of 500 and let's continue payment of 200 will be equals to zero variable payment 100 will be equals to zero we need payment of 50 Payment of 20 Payment for bank notes of 10 Payment 5 And we will also create coins Payment of two and payment of one okay we created payment for bank notes and coins of course and we will we need to enter amount that uh, uh, amount of money that we want to cash out we will need the message print a line enter desired amount and we will create variable amount variable amount will be equals to input dot next integer okay this all of these payments of course are integer and amount also will be integer and now uh, to we will need to create via loops for each payment and uh, let's start first we will start with uh, 500 while amount is greater or equal than 500 okay it will be if amount is greater than or equal than 500 for example uh, amount is 1000 we can receive banknote first we will receive a uh, first banknote of 500 and that means that payment of 500 will increase and amount will be decreased for 500 and uh, let's create first we need a curry braces we need to increment payment of 500 plus equals to 1 and also we will need to decrease if a payment of 500 increased amount needs to be decreased minus equal for 500 and that's the via loop for payment of 500 of course we need via loop for each payment and let's copy this loop and let's paste it here and let's paste it once again 
we have three loops now let's change here here this loop will be for payment of 200 and let's uh, change the values 200 here will be payment of 200 and amount need to be decreased for 200 okay and here we will change to 100 we need to change the variable of course be careful you we need we can't forget uh, to change values that we need to change if we forget something our application will not properly and now we have these three loops and let's copy them all and let's paste it once now to resolve payment of 50 20 and 10 we just need here to delete one zero here let's delete one zero and we will get payment of 50. also here we delete one zero and we will resolve payment of 20 and here will be payment of 10. and now we can or paste it once again or we can copy these three uh, via loops for payment of uh, 50 20 and 10 a couple of space and we can paste it here and we will resolve payment for of 5 2 and 1 we will just delete one zero this is the easiest way to create this nine but just a second we can't forget to change something if we forget to change some value it will not work properly okay now we have nine for loops let's see if everything is okay P uh, payment of 500 200 100 50 20 10, 5, 2, and 1. Okay, it's resolved. By uh, here, uh, it will divide banknotes uh, depending of our amount. This via loops will resolve how many banknotes or, or, or coins and coins we will get. But we need to write it and we will need couple of control statements. First, we need to t uh, create a control statement if and we will write payment of 500 if payment of 500 if we have some payment of 500 payment of 500 needs to be greater than zero if payment of 500 is greater than zero it means that we have we have banknote of 500 if we don't have a uh, don't have a payment of 500 this message that we will write will not be uh, will not run in our compiler and let's write print line we need a text we will use s uh, let's write a text banknote of 500 and we will use x as how many times and we will use variable payment of 500 okay if we have payment of 500 at least once this uh, this uh, uh, this statement will run and we need for each payment uh, we will need this control statement for each payment and let's create first we will copy this statement we will give a little space and let's copy once and let's copy once more and now here we will change uh, this statement will be for payment of 200 we will change here payment banknote two of 200 and also here will be variable payment of 200 
here will be 100 banknote of 100 and also here will be variable banknote or payment of 100 and now we will copy these three statements we will give a little space and we will paste it here it will be easier to change and here we will just delete one zero to get uh, to resolve payment of 50 here will be payment of 20 also bank note bank note of 20 and here will be payment of 10 we will just delete one zero and it's resolved now let's uh, let's copy these three control statements we will just give a little space we will paste it and first uh, let's resolve payment of five we will just delete one zero and here will be payment of two but instead of bank note we will delete because this is these are coins we will type instead of bank note we will type coin and the same thing we will do for the payment of one instead of bank note will be coin and this is a result this should be fine let's save let's see what we type we had to see how many bank notes we will have it will resolve these while loops if we have some payment of uh, 500 and 200 payment of 200 will increase we will have amount will decrease until amount gets uh, uh, zero and depending if we have some of these payments we will have a message and let's run our application to see if everything works properly uh, let's run enter desired amount okay it will be 2588 and we will have a message okay we will have five uh, banknote of 500 we will have five uh, banknote of 50 we will have uh, once bank note of 20 once okay we will we will see if this is okay five five uh, notes of 500 it will be 2500 and one bank note of 50 two it will be 2550 and bank note of 20 it will be 2570 80 85 and we have one uh, uh it will be two uh, two thousand five hundred eighty five we have one coin uh of two it will be eighty seven and one coin of one uh it will be two thousand five hundred eighty eight which is perfect this means that this works properly let's try once again let's give some smaller number uh six hundred 94 what we will get uh, okay 500 600 50 and uh, 650 we have two bank notes of 20 it will be 690 and we have uh, two uh, coins of two it will be 694 which is perfect uh, let's try once again uh, 300 77 what we will get 200 300 350 370 375 and 377 works works like a charm of course we can type we want to get a, a greater amount of euro let's let's say 24000 958 what we will get as you can see uh, 40 49 49 bank notes uh, uh, of uh, 
49 notes of 500 it will be i think it will be 50 notes will be 25 and it will be 24500 and uh, for 400 20, it will be 2400 24900 950 950 uh, 55 57 58 okay it it works great this is this is that calculation uh, works properly and if we type okay if it will be just 25 we want 25,000 it will be of course 50 bank notes of 500 this means that uh, this works uh, perfectly perfectly fine and I pretty much nothing nothing special here here uh, we we defined our payments uh, we enter our amount via loops this nine for each uh, payment we had via loops it result how many how many bank notes or and coins we will have and if we have some of the bank note of the coin we have this control statement if for example in uh, if we have payment of 500 it, ne it needs to be greater than zero at least we have uh, we need one and if we have a payment of 500 uh, this this uh, uh, this uh, control statement will run depending how much uh, how much we, if we have one it will be one two depending on how many times we have payment of 500 pretty much simple and I'm pretty much sure that you you know this well from other languages and I really hope that you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You have a link in the description. And I will see you in the next tutorial.